Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while, so happy new year. Happy third lockdown, wherever you are, you know. Um, it's actually mad when I think of it. It's almost been a year since this whole coronavirus thing started, like a year of my life that I will never get back, but you know, we move. Um, today's video is a bit different, actually. I am currently parked up because I'm about to go through a McDonald's drive through and I'm gonna get some food, and then I asked on Instagram a couple of days ago um, what icks do people get when they're dating and in relationships, so I've got quite a few of those to get through, so I'll read them out. We'll have a bit of a chin wag, you know, just like me and you, mukbang style, like, never thought I'd ever be doing a mukbang video, but here we are doing one right now. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe, because that will help me out. Um, I really do want to try and make more videos. I know I say that in every video that I make, but I'm trying guys, I really am trying. Let's get into it and start this video. Guys, comment below and let me know what your go-to meal is when you go to McDonald's. I think I'm gonna get a sweet chili wrap meal. And I wanna try those new um, katsu nuggets. Apparently they're really nice, so. I'm gonna see what they're saying, you know what I mean? Can I take your piece? Hi, can I get the crispy sweet chili chicken wrap, please, as a medium meal? Okay. Um, can I get Fanta, please? Yeah. And then, um, can I get, uh, what size do you katsu chicken nuggets come in? Six, nine, or Um, can I get them, can I get six, please? Yeah, then it's, it's the everything. Uh, barbecue sauce as well, please. That's everything, thank you. Do you know what? I don't remember the last time I ever used my debit card, you know. I always actually use my phone to pay. I hate when the workers don't speak to you. It makes me feel a bit more awkward, like... Just my little hi, how's you down, you know? Story time guys, I actually used to work at McDonald's like when I was 18 and I, it was the worst job of my life. I hated every minute of it and I'd only work two days a week but it felt like I worked there full time. It was, just wasn't a cute job for me. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. Park somewhere where no one's gonna be watching me, man. There's people at all. You know? So, I've got my food, so I've got my Fanta. Sweet chili wrap. I've got fries. And I've got katsu nuggets. But I'm gonna try the nuggets first because. They're new, and I want to see what they taste like. So they come with sweet curry sauce, of course. Would you look at that? I'm not sure if I like them, you know. They're okay. They're okay, they're okay, they're okay. <gasps> Please. You know what? I hate eating in my car. Like, I don't like when people come in here with food and people start eating. It gives me like major anxiety, but you know, for the purpose of the video, it's calm. My car needs a wash as well, but like all car wash places are closed because of lockdown. That's what's going on in everyone's life, you know? How's lockdown treating you? I think the first lockdown was extremely hard because we all didn't know what was happening and it was just like a very anxious time for everyone whereas I feel like now because it's just the same thing over again people are actually just losing their mind like I feel like I'm in Inception or some sort of film like I'm reliving the same day I've been furloughed so I'm not at work and I feel like there's only so much 
of like working out well you can always work out but like you know like tidying your room or like reading books there's only so much you can do of those activities before you get bored um and i feel like that's the point where i'm at right now but it's okay you know 2021 we're hoping for a better year hopefully i don't spend another birthday in lockdown oh can you imagine I'm so sorry if you can just hear me clacking my gums. Um, all fairness though, last year I didn't really want to do anything for my birthday anyway. But having the option would be nice, you know? I can't spend another like birthday just trapped inside the house. Speaking to my friends on Zoom or house party. You know? I need to be able to celebrate because true say, if I don't celebrate my birthday this year, I'm still 22, so you know. Look at that, look at that. Well, I actually like these, you know. They're different. Mm. Period. Guys, right, so can we talk about the Jeffree Star and Can't Get West rumor, please? <laughs> what is the world coming Like, I want to say, what is the world coming to? But we've all been knowing that the showbiz is crazy, but. So many people were saying to me like, can you believe Kanye West slept with Jeffree Star? I knew Kanye West wasn't sleeping with nobody. It's bad that um, him and Kim are getting a divorce. I really like them as a couple together, but clearly, she can't manage it. Okay, so whilst I'm still eating, because I'm the slowest eater you'll ever bloody meet, I'm gonna go through some of these icks that you guys sent in. Okay, so may I add actually that a lot of these responses where people saying they get the ick when they're on a date with a guy with dirty fingernails. Boys, you must do better. You must do better. Like, why are your fingernails dirty? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just basic hygiene, but it's not that basic if not everybody's doing it. Period. Someone else has said um, they get the ick when somebody doesn't have an iPhone. That's me. Like, no, I have an iPhone, but like, I find anybody else that doesn't have an iPhone very scary. Scary. Oh, so scary. scary. Like, it's 2021 and you're still pushing Android. Someone else has said. They get the ick when they can hear someone breathing. See, I don't know about this one. I think when someone's a heavy breather, I find it really cute. I wouldn't say it gives me the ick, but each of their own, you know? Someone else has said they get the ick if they're too quick washing in the shower. Most definitely. You know those people that message you like, oh, just give me two minutes, I'm going in the shower. Why are you in the shower for two minutes? <laughs> why are you washing your hands because for me personally when i'm in the shower i'm in there for like 20 minutes minimum like i need a good good wash and there's people out here washing under two minutes i can't another popular one that everyone keeps sending as well <laughs> is to get the equina boys running for the bus <laughs> listen i just find it a red flag if he's running for the bus in it like Are you running why are you running do you better man just get a guy that can drive because all that hassle with having to pick someone up all that business but running for the bus is so funny imagine that i'm gonna be five minutes late i just missed my boy <laughs> that's really funny to me i don't know why it is i'm so sorry if you can't drive but i just find that so funny um considering it's locked down there's quite a lot of people out i'm calling the police Guys, I've read this response so many times, yeah, that it just help, help me make it make sense. So this person goes, they get the ick when they slip on my hair extensions the morning after. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it! I'm gonna lose it! I get the ick 
when they slip on my hair extensions the morning after. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that is really funny to me. <laughs> Imagine that, like, you know, doing up silver stuff on your hair extensions the next morning. <laughs> Anyway, I know somebody's gonna mention um, <clears throat> the fact that I don't use sauce on my chips and that's purely because I just like them salted like I don't need to be going in with no more sauce which has more salt in it which gives you high cholesterol and diabetes and then you die period if you know you know I love wraps from McDonald's man see already my car's a mess I can't be asked to be honest Look at that. Bloody good this, bloody good. Someone else has said, they get the ick when a guy says, when you say to a guy that you just got out of the shower and then the guy says, show me. <laughs> that just reminds you of like, when you're in school and you're trying to talk to someone over like BBM or something. Show me. And, um, when they still talk about their ex, yeah. First of all, that's an ick and a massive red flag, like... May have experienced it, may have not. But, yeah, as soon as... If they seem to be talking about their ex constantly, like they can't get over them, then that's your cue to jump, so... A big ick. As a friend of mine, who shall not be named, yeah... Said she gets the ick when... <clears throat> thinking of a guy learning to drive and being confused about the whole thing. I, what I didn't realise about doing this is that so many people get the ick about people who aren't able to drive. Like, is that really, like, a deal breaker when it comes to, like, talking to someone? Because I didn't think it was, to be fair. One actually finished me because I don't see anything wrong with it, but I just thought it was so funny. Boys that kiss their mum grow up. <laughs> How do you get the ick? <laughs> How do you get the ick of a boy because he kisses his mum? Like, he's just showing her affection. Isn't that a good thing? Or am I just, am I wiling? Like, I didn't think that was a bad thing. <laughs> proper nice, proper bargain, that proper meal, proper really nice. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, it was only a short one. I just really needed to pass some time, to be honest. But I appreciate it if you watched it. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to comment below and let me know that. Or if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.